What's going on everybody, my name is Lois, welcome back to another video on the channel. I actually recently started Android development series, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install Java JDK and install Android Studio on Windows machine. So first thing you need to do is download Java JDK, so go to Google or Bing and search for Java JDK download and there should be first link which will take you to the Oracle website where you can download Java JDK. So you will see this page, alright? So once you're on this page, don't click on Java here, right? So you need to go down here, JDK download, click on that and in this page you need to select the version of operating system you're using. So if you're on a Mac, click here to download Java JDK for Mac and if you're using Windows x86, click here for x64, click here. So how do we find that uh, what version of Windows we're using? So you go to my computer right, and then you go right click and then here you will see what kind of system type you have. So I have 64-bit operating system so I'll go back to Edge browser and I will download this one. I've actually already downloaded Java JDK and uh, Android Studio, but I'll show you what is the next step. All right, so once you download that, there's gonna be exe file, double click on that and install that file, okay? So once you install that, you need to go to your C drive and program files and here you have a java folder right so this is the java jre 1.8 this is the jdk right so that's the part first thing what i want you to do is double click on this folder and double click on bin and click on your address bar right click copy that okay now right click on your windows start icon and go to control panel okay here type environment and once you type ENVI, you will see this option, edit system environment variables. So click on that and then go to advanced and click on environment variables. So here you will need to go to the path. Okay, so in the path, double click on that. Here you will see one path. C, program files, Java, JDK, and slash bin. If you don't see that here, you need to create that variable. So just click on new and right click here and paste that and that's it. So I've already have that, so I'm just gonna delete that. All right, so you need to create that bin path. Click OK. You need to look for Java underscore home as well. If you don't see that there, you need to create one click on new here and then create this so here this is the exact part where the java jdk is installed so you can go back to the browser and jdk and now right click copy this and then paste that part here so you need to create two variables here so once you set it up that's it for java jdk to test the java jdk go to command prompt here type java space dash version and here you can see that I've already installed Java version 1.8.0. This is the latest version. So close that. We successfully installed Java JDK. Now we are ready to install Android Studio. So here type Android Studio. Maybe type Google Download as well. So first link developer.android.com slash tools. And then this is the latest version we have for Android Studio. Click on that accept term and conditions click on download it's going to start downloading all right so once it download it's going to take a while because it's like 434 mb file so once it downloaded i'll come back and i'll show you what's the next so android Studio has been downloaded i'll run the setup and this is what i see so click on next and now you need to make sure you select android virtual device if it's not checked by default and android studio click on next Agree the term and condition and this is the part if you want to install it somewhere else you can do that as well But I would recommend leave it default so you don't have to do any more settings. So click on next install Now it's gonna take a while. It's gonna download some files from internet as well and Just gonna pause the video and I'll come back when it's done Alright guys, so Android Studio has been installed and downloaded and ready to run so I'm gonna click on finish and it's going to start Android Studio. First thing it's gonna ask you, if you want to import any setting from older version of Studio, and then you can select that. But for this case, I'm gonna select, I don't have any previous version of Studio, 
and then just click OK. Now it's starting Android Studio. You will see this installation window. Now you need to select custom installation. Click on next, select your theme. I like the white one, so it's fine. And then make sure you select that a virtual device as well. So Android Studio is basically going to download all the virtual device files. And then you need to select the RAM allocation for your Android Studio. So maybe choose a recommended one, which is 2 GB, that's fine and then click on next so now it's going to download all these files and install within Android Studio so I'll simply click on finish to start the installation it's gonna take a while to finish all those files because it's a pretty big file so just uh, wait until it's installed and I'll show you what's the next step alright guys so Android Studio has been downloaded all the components has been downloaded and now all you have to do is just click on finish Alright, so Android Studio has been installed successfully and from the next video we're going to start working on Android Studio and I will take you step by step about Android development. Alright guys, thanks for watching and if you liked the video smash the like button and stay tuned for this course uh, because I'm going to be covering every single thing about Android Studio and Android development. It's for beginners so thank you so much for watching again and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.